can see how he gets he's on with that. He's not having much progress. No, he's not having much progress. Is there a headstone over it now or is it just in the... Uh, Willie, you won't find it out there. Try look at him where the holes are. <laughs> there are 256 burials uh, in, this, in this cemetery here. Uh, and the one that Willie look, is looking for at the moment is one which represents uh, the youngest British paratrooper who was killed in the Second World War. And if, if indeed he's probably the youngest British soldier. And his name is Private Edward Johns. He's in row, row IVA uh, Grave 1. He was serving with the uh, 3 Para. And he helped liberate and secure the village of Ranville on D-Day. Private Johns. Um, he was killed six weeks later on the 23rd of July uh, 1944 and he was aged only 16 years of age. So he was in partial waiting there um, and he was killed at 16 years of age. Willie's in the process of trying to find his grave. I'll bring you over here for a second and show you this one here. <coughs> you lads never been on these tours before and um, that big cross there is, is uh, what you see in all the cemeteries in World War One and World War Two belongs to the Commonwealth War Graves Association and it, it has the big cross there with the big, uh, the big bronze sword in the middle of it and down below there you have it, have an altar down there down the middle down there you see them in all the cemeteries all over uh, Flanders and so on it's very similar to one we were in Flanders and, and the same, uh, on, the, on the front of them it says their name living forevermore it's called the altar of sacrifice yeah um, this cross here This cross here was actually made in 1944 um, after the 6th Born, six Airborne, Airborne Division, uh, the what you call it. There was a guy here, um, he actually made this cross and his name was Sapper Hanslip uh, and he was from 2A6 of the Royal Engineer Company, right? Um, all were called us to simulate marble. The two copper uh, plaques, one uh, Pegasus and the other a simple description. The 6th of June uh, 1944 were made from the copper uh, air press bottles salvaged from the actual gliders themselves. The cross was surrounded, uh, used to be surrounded, or was, still is, uh, surrounded by uh, glider lashing chains and was held in place by brake fluid uh, casings. So this guy is one of the sappers here from the Royal Engineers. He, he was one of the boys here. He actually made this cross. This was put here in 1944. When we were actually a, a rough burial of the lads here, um, and you can see that there, right? That's the rough there, and he made he made up that cross himself. Okay, and you can see where the rough burials are here, where the lads were killed, and he buried them. So sorry, not him, but they were buried here in the cemetery. He made up this cross here, and those plates then were made from the, were salvaged from the gliders, and the chains were from gliders and all, and the brake fluid yokes. Um, I'm trying to get Willie to find the this grave here. Um, if you want to go on a hunt, lads, I'm also looking for grave uh, by uh, 